hi everyone so in this video i'm going to share with you four visions that the lord gave to me uh in regard to xrp uh this was all last week and then also i'm going to share with you uh um an email that somebody sent to me um where they sh they shared their dream and uh, their their dream helps me with my vision and it helps to bring uh wisdom and understanding um in regard to the visions that the lord gave me because the visions the lord gave me concerned me it, it bothered me hence i'm going to most likely going to title this video xrp warning and i i hope it's not a too dramatic a title but anyway so the first vision i had i was waiting and then um, while i was waiting it was my turn to be served and uh, i don't know what i was being served for but it was my turn and then they came and went past me and went to somebody else they bypassed me and went to somebody else and that was the end of it and of course it uh it bothered me and then um and then i had another vision and in the second vision i was um outside with some people and i don't know if it was if we were outside a bar or outside a restaurant or what I, I really don't know but I, I'm not normally so I'm not someone who would normally go to a bar actually but in the vision it seemed like we were outside and it seemed like maybe people had drinks in their hand or or papers I don't know what they had but anyway I reached out to put something or to place something on the window sill or the window ledge it's, it's either called a window sill or a window ledge and I just reached out to place something there. And as I reached out to place something on the window ledge, somebody else put something before me. And so I couldn't place whatever I was going to place on the window ledge and, and that was it. And that was the end of that dream, uh, that vision. And then I had a fourth one, uh, sorry, a, a third one. And in the third one, I was walking my dog and and then there was somebody blocking my dog's path. So the little dog wanted to go this way and the you could see the person's legs blocking the way and the dog tried to go that way and it seemed like his path was being blocked as well and he, he couldn't really go. So um, go where, he, where we were going and, and that was the end of that dream. So um, it started to bother me, what's, what's all this, what's going on? You know, is there something that I'm being uh, denied of? Is there something that I, I started to get really worried? And then I had a fourth uh, vision. And I think the fourth one came um, separately. The fourth one came on the night. Uh, I think maybe that's maybe that same night, that same day, but at, at night. And I was um, I was praying and um and while i was praying i went off into a, a trance or into a, a vision and in this vision i was at i was um at the bus stop it's a bus stop that i normally use just just not far from me but anyway i was uh, i was um i was in a bus stop um and um I, and there was a, a um a big white lorry or something or long truck or lorry or something coming and apparently that was what i was waiting for apparently in, in a dream but then as it was approaching and i saw it was now coming to stop for me i just turned to either speak to some speak to someone on a wheelchair or to help them i don't know what i turned to do but there was somebody on a wheelchair and just to say I have um, uh, someone that lives locally and that always um, says hello to my dog and they're in a wheelchair so I don't know if that's what we were doing if if they were saying hello I, I don't know but anyway I just quickly turned being mindful that the vehicle the the thing I'm waiting for is approaching so I quickly turned back again so that I can get on and he just left it, it just went past and I, I watched it just drive off and I was like oh my god you know it just left without me you know and the interesting thing is when it left I noticed that the um the the back door of the 
lorry, the truck, the trailer, the whatever you want to call it, it was white in color. The the, the um, I'm, I'm, I keep saying it was white in color because it reminds me of that. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of the dream that you remember that guy Jay Song. You remember I told you guys to watch his video, and he said that there was a a truck or a lorry and it had lots of um uh lots of stuff for him you know and that's what that reminded me of but anyway so when he drove off i looked and both doors were wide open and the boot and it was empty the the the, the inside of it was completely bare empty and i just watched this thing and then i came out of that vision and of course i really i really was concerned you know because i i i realized there's a theme going on here and um the lord is clearly trying to tell me something and you know and i was really worried what, what is it it was only later on that i realized that actually it was to do with um xrp and that was what i was i had asked the lord if he will share if he has anything he wants me to know so um, I concluded that um, the Lord was letting me know that um, that um, when, do you remember that um, vision, that revelation that get, the Lord gave to Ness where he said it will go so, it will happen so fast that he wouldn't be able to buy it as he goes down. And then when he's going up, he went so, so fast as well, going up, right? So I concluded that the Lord was basically saying to me, that's when it happens it will um you you you, you mustn't uh you mustn't get distracted you mustn't get distracted but that's not true that's wrong that is not what the lord was trying to speak to me about and i realized what the lord was really trying to speak to me about when i saw the email that i'm about to read to you guys and um it's an email from somebody called um d okay i'll just leave their, their name as d okay so so in the email yeah okay so okay so in the email um i'll just go straight to the dream uh i just need okay yeah okay okay so i'll just i'll read this first then i'll read the dream it says here I will first share the dreams, then I will share some facts about my life. And lastly, I will give you the revelation I had upon waking. Facts about my life will help with the understanding of the revelation. This is true, um, as you will find out. Facts about, the, uh, facts about my life will help with the understanding of the revelation. And if God gives you more revelation, I'll be more than happy to hear about it. Sorry. Here it goes. Dream one. The scene of this dream occur in a house that is my current home in real life. And the dream starts with my daughter waking me up in the dream. Um, it is in the middle of the night. My daughter had just woken me up. It is sometimes, it is, sorry, it is something I just knew had happened. I checked my apps on my phone, crypto apps, and I noticed the market was dropping. I decided to cancel my first, sorry, I decided to cancel my limit orders that I had on um, KuCoin since I was actively watching the market. The next scene, the numbers were dropping actively and rapidly, and I tried to log into my apps and I was not able to. The login was deactivated on the apps. Then I tried to use my computer to log in and I was not able. The next scene, I am trying to log into my mom's account to see if I could purchase some crypto for her. But I remember that I will need her two-factor authorization to log in. And I was debating to call her and wake her up since, since it was the middle of the night. So I ended up not doing it. The next scene, my brother was taking a shower and getting ready for work. My sister was up as well and about in, and she was about in a house. 
in the next scene i was pa i was panicking and i w in the next scene i was panicking and i was like i should not have taken my limit off you know this is what she was saying i should not have taken my limit off I somehow knew XRP had dropped significant, significantly and my friend sent me a WhatsApp message saying, looks like your XRP target has been reached. And I responded saying, I know, but I can't buy. Eventually in the next scene, I see my mom. And by that time I had consistently tried to log in so I can buy, but, it was un but I was unable. In in the scene, my mom in the scene, my mom was cleaning the living room, and I knew my kids were still asleep. Okay, end of dream. And then dream two. Um, after dream one, I woke up and I fell asleep again. Then I had dream two. In dream two, it is the same scene and settings as dream one, only that it fo focuses on the time I was trying to log in. Uh, start of dream. Sorry. I was trying to log into my app that had a black background with no, su with no success. I had tried many times. I saw XRP at 0 0.34 USD and I was struggling to buy as the app was crashing. So I remembered the importance of having limit orders set. Then I, then I saw BTC at around $11, sorry, at, a, at around $11.60. And the background of the app was a very light blue and white. By that time, after so many trials to log in, I had access to my other wallets and not on KuCoin. I could see the graph on KuCoin, but I could only sell and not buy. The buy option was deactivated. Deactivated. End of dream. Okay, so she says, um, when I woke up from dream two early in the morning, I felt the I felt like things will happen quickly and will happen in the middle of the night when most people, sorry, when most will be asleep. Then I suddenly had an understanding of my dreams. Let me first give you some facts. So here she's just gonna give me some facts about her, about her life. Real life facts. In real life, I have two kids, a son and a daughter. My daughter, who is five, still wakes up, still wakes me up in the middle of the night, usually around 2 a.m. on most nights. My daughter and son usually wake up in the morning at, at around 8.30 to 9 a.m. Don't switch, don't, don't switch off because this, this is important, actually. Because, um, yeah, don't, you'll see this, this, this is important. So don't switch off, okay? Uh, so where were we? My daughter and son usually wake up in the morning at around 8.30 to 9 a.m. I do not live with my mom, with my mother or my siblings. My brother, I saw in my dream, he's a morning person and usually wakes at around 6 to 5, sorry, at around 5 to 6 a.m. to get ready for work or to jog. My sister is also a morning person who usually wakes up at around 6 to 7 a.m. I do have another, yeah, she has another brother and sister, but they are not morning people and they were not in my dreams. My mom is also a morning person and usually wakes at around 7 a.m. And before she does anything, she always starts with having breakfast. At the time of my dreams, the main exchanges that I use were KuCoin, black background, in bracket, it has a black, black background, MT4, and in bracket she says, has a light blue, and NetCoins, it has a light blue as well. Funny enough, as of today, August 12th, Net, NetCoins has launched their app and at the time of the dream, it was website only. 
and um and then she tells me where she lives sorry she's she's saying where she lives and her time zone is central daylight time it's her time zone based on on her on her local time the london okay so i read it like this i live in and my time zone is central daylight time based on my local time the london market opens at 2 a.m and closes at 10 a.m the new york market open at 7 a.m now back to the back to the instant understanding of the dreams that i got i just i just knew the drop will start at around 2 a.m when the london market open and significantly rapidly drop around 7 a.m when the new york market is open and about to op is open or about to open the drop to 0 0.34 dollars for XRP and $11.60 for BTC. In brackets, she says, even lower than. We'll start with the London market and will rapidly drop to those levels. And then in brackets, she said, 0 0.34 and 11.60, both dollars. End of bracket. Sorry, sorry guys. Uh, sorry yeah let me just read it again the drop to the drop to 0 0.34 dollars for xrp and 11.60 dollars to btc even lower than will start with the london market and will rapidly drop to those levels 0 0.34 uh, cents and 11.60 dollars when the new york market is about to open or just or has just opened this is the part of the dream that supports the understanding the dream starts with my daughter had just woken me up so it's so it would have been between 2 and 4 a.m in the dream and it started to actively drop when my brother and sister were up already so it would have been around 5 to 7 a.m., but definitely before 8 to 9 a.m. Because my mom was up and cleaning, meaning she had already taken her breakfast, but the kids were still asleep. Also, when I woke up, I felt like things were happening quickly and in the middle of the night, depending on what part of the world you are in. This is my thought and not a revelation or understanding. I think it will also happen during the week or start with Sunday based on my local time since Forex markets are open from Sunday 5 p.m. to Friday 3 p.m. for me. I could be, sorry, could be different depending on where you are in the world. And the part of and the part that my friend sends me uh sends me a, um uh, sends me on whatsapp um sorry and the part that my friend sends me on whatsapp the price target he was referring about is 0 0.25 usd or lower I am also telling my friend to set some XRP limits between 0 0.20 and 0 0.25 USD. We know in parts and prophesy in parts. Please test the spirit. I have another, yeah, and then she goes on to say something else. But um, it's amazing because I, um, from her um, email, I um I got the understanding of of my uh, visions. So basically the visions that the Lord was um giving to me the Lord was basically saying to me that I'm going to miss it. You know because in one of the visions I was waiting and they bypassed me and went to somebody else. So what happens in in the scenario of buying cryptocurrency or or XRP 
if someone places an order, uh, puts a, a buying order, and you're waiting, you're, you're watching, actively watching, like she was watching in a dream, but she wasn't able to do anything. And do you remember in Ness's dream? Do you remember all those months ago that I um, shared that um, heavy prophetic word that the Lord gave to me and then used Ness to confirm it completely? Do you remember in his revelation, the Lord showed him he was watching everything. He was watching it go down and there was nothing he could do about it. Do you remember? And then he was, and then he watched it go swoop straight up. So I believe that the Lord is basically talking about um, placing an order, you know, or buying order, which I've never done ever in my life. Last night I was um, playing around with the with the app and i realized i can't do it with the app i have to do it with the next with the exchange and then i had to download the exchange app on my phone and blah blah, blah. and I, I remember when i first uh, when I, I put that video out all those um um months ago with the one um the price the xrp price um prophetic word the one with the i shared ness's revelation I remember one of the comments came from him. Um, there's a, a senator that, that sometimes leaves, leaves me a comment and in the, or leaves us a comment. He leaves a comment for, for, for all of us. In, I remember that time he left a comment and he said in the comment that he's, he's placing a buy, a buy order or a buying order. And that was the first time I ever heard that term. I had never heard that uh, terminology ever. Can you imagine? Um, yeah, so I, I, I thought, oh, okay, I have to remember that. So now I, I believe the Lord is saying that this is what it's about, basically. And now also the Lord uses this to shed some light on Ness's revelation as well. Because you really, I, I believe the Lord is saying to place um, a buy order. Otherwise, um, it's not going to, it's not going to hold. Because the other thing is, it says... Um, the other thing I want to share is um, the, the 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 vision I told you guys that I put I placed an or I placed a, um, something on the window ledge, you know. And what does that remind you of? It reminds you of a ledger, right? A ledge, a ledger, right? And the other thing is, if it was a drink I was placing, or if it was a bite of food or something I was placing there or whatever, what do they give you when you order food in a restaurant? You order. You ordered something right sorry so i wanted to place my order on the ledge and somebody went ahead of me you see that's the revelation that that's what that that means and then also the other one with the lorry the you know the big truck that i said that it, it drove off and it, it didn't wait for me if you think about it as well um it, i said to you that both doors were open and it was completely empty. Now, what that tells me is that, um, and, and what normally happens when you have a, a truck or a, 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 a lorry or a, a, a carriage like that, they usually carry orders, isn't it? When you order something or when you place an order, that's what they carry. And when you drove off, I noticed that it was empty. So what that tells me is that my order did not go in. It didn't go through. It, it went past without my order. Right. So I really believe that um, uh, that's what this whole thing is about. And uh, and it worried me, you know, and, and, I'm, and uh, you know, I prayed last night. I prayed today and I'm going to pray some more because I I want the Lord to help me to do everything that I'm supposed to do according to my destiny. You know, um, yes, there, there's another uh, part of this um email because she sent me something else but I'm, I'm gonna leave that for another video okay so by the grace of god you guys pray about all of this you know and i will be praying as well and let's see what the lord will say to us and also let's see how the lord will position us you know um so i'm gonna conclude by saying that um share xrp price point for putting a buy order okay yes so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to learn how to place a buy order with my 
exchange that I use. I tried to play around with it yesterday, so I'm going to try a bit more. And I'm going to try and place a buy order or whatever it's called. And I'm going to put mine um, on 0 0.25 pence United Kingdom uh, money, okay? Because pe people were asking me, is it pence or dollars? Well, in that first vision that I had all those months ago, it wasn't clear to me. And now I, I have a, a conviction. I, I feel, I, I believe, I have the faith to believe that it's 25 pence. Of course, I would love it to be 25 American cents, you know, because if it is, that makes it even lower for us here in the UK. But I can't, uh, with a clear conscience, have faith for that, you know. So I'm just going to have faith for 25p. And um, and I'm, and what's backing that up for me is that she said that in her dream, it was 0.34 cents, American money, 0.34. And if you convert that, it, it's exactly 0.25, right? So that's what my faith level is, and that's what I'm going to go for. And then I'm going to learn how to do this thing, and then I'm going to do it as, as swiftly as I, as, as I can. And um, and I want to say that, of course, you guys know I'm I'm not a, a financial advisor, you know, and um, and I would really uh, encourage you to um, you know to seek the Lord, you know, and um, press in, and um, and ask Him to show you things, you know, ask Him to speak to you. I told you guys um, a little while, uh, some time ago, I said it like maybe twice, that um, the Lord said to me that He's going to be personally involved with this wealth transfer. He's gonna be personally involved. And I gave you guys the scripture he gave me. Do you guys remember? I gave the scripture of um, Moses when he said to Moses, I will be with you. He said to Moses, I will personally go with you, you know? So, um, yeah, so, um, and then the other thing I wanna say is, um, last week I, I did a video on Joseph and I just wanted to add, don't forget that when during that Joseph time, don't forget that the, the, the Bible records that money failed. So Joseph rose at a time when um, money failed, you know. Can you imagine that? You know, and you know, there's a scripture that says there's nothing new under the sun, you know. And, and, and you know, and, you, you, and then now you, you start to see that we're entering a time when money will fail. It's going to be a, a, a different thing altogether. And, um, and the beauty of it is that the Lord said that he's going to be personally involved in it. And, and if you watch it, you, you notice that um, there are other um, um, spirit-filled you know, believers of our Lord Jesus Christ that are speaking out now as well, you know. And some of them are even more positioned and more educated in the area of cryptocurrency. You know, they have the skills, they have the, God has blessed them with the understanding and, you know, and they, they make it their, you know, is their business to, is their calling, is, is what they do. You know, um, you know I'm, I'm remembering specifically that guy, Jay Song, you know, and then um, even that lady, Queen, um, Lady Queen, um, she does uh, uh, t uh, tutorials, you know, so the Lord is doing something, you know, um, draw near to him and, uh, you know, don't, don't ever, ever, ever sit there and just let me um, fun, uh, spoon feed you. Seek the Lord for yourself and get confirmation from him, okay? So, um, all right, everyone, thank you so much and... Um, I look forward to seeing you guys really soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye.